According to UPDF spokesperson Brigadier Richard Karimidi, Robert Miyaga, the gunman who shot his wife Jacqueline Asasira and a motorcyclist identified as Francis Musasizi, was not an LDU personnel but a member of the Army Reserves. There's a difference between a reservist and an LDU. These reservists are ex military personnel that were called upon to support the security forces in ensuring that no crime takes place. So if a reservist makes a mistake, please don't throw it on the LD news. The shooting of Musa Sisi and Asasida was captured on CCTV cameras in the area along Elgin Street in Masaka near Biansi Clinic. Eyewitnesses who work with BNC Clinic recall how Jacqueline Asasira, Francis Musa Sisi and the shooter, Robert Miyaga, arrived on the scene. The the witnesses also say the three were initially in a jolly mood before the blooding incident that was to happen a few minutes later. When the three walked over to the motorcycle, one of the witnesses thought about the approved distancing guidelines as it seemed the trio were going to sit on the same motorcycle. <laughs> The shooting terrified the witness as it was unexpected. Robert Miyaga allegedly shot the two over suspected infidelity. It was thought that the LC1 chairperson Francis Musa Sisi was involved in a sexual affair with Miyaga's wife, Jacqueline Asasida. One of the doctors who received Jacqueline Asasida at Masaka Regional Referral Hospital narrates the condition in which she was before finally passing on. I had a gunshot wound to the L right and to the left uh, elbow joint and then uh, the abdomen. Some social media platforms had claimed that Miyaga was in the area to observe the implementation of COVID-19 pandemic guidelines, a matter dismissed by the Army spokesperson, Brigadier Richard Karimiri. The three have been buried today under tight security. Robert Miyaga and his wife, Jacqueline Asasida, were laid to rest in Kamale village, while Francis Musasizi has been buried in Lutovo village in Luengo district.